Hey everyone. So in this video, I want to show off something that's fairly new in the ML.NET CLI, and that is the new image classification command that we can use. And real quick, if you don't have ML.NET installed, you can install it with the .NET CLI command using the tool install the dash G for global and then ML.NET to install the ML.NET CLI. If you have it installed, but you need to upgrade it, you can do .NET tool update dash G ML net, and that'll get the latest update of the ML CLI. All right, so I got the latest reinstalled, which is 16.2. And so the data I'm going to be working with is the, this one data. And look at that real quick. I have two different folders, one called red with different photos of red one and one called white with different photos of white one. And so I'm, I'm gonna go back one here and to run this, I'll do ML.NET image classification. And actually I'll do the dash H so we can look at the help on that. And all thing that's required is the dataset parameter. It's a path to a local folder, which contains labeled subfolders of all images. So that's what we have, all of our red images in the red folder and all of our white images in the white folder. And so let's run this with the data set one data is our path. There we go. And so now it's going to be a read in all of your images. But since I ran this before, it already did that. And it's, it's already starting to create my pipeline for me. All right, so that finished. We have one model explored, the image classification uh, trainer. Uh, but we can see our accuracy is actually pretty good within the 90s there. And a couple of things that it did. First, it creates our code for us. So we can look at the sample image classification. And let's just open that solution. And we get kind of the usual solution that you would get from other ML.NET CLI or model builder runs. You have the, the console app here, which generates that pipeline for you. But we see here, it did something else. It loads from the, a text file and what it does and the directory where your data is, it creates this image label.tsv file. And all that does is that it creates a file with the label and the image source. So all the red files have the label red and then the image corresponding to that label. So all the images there, then all the white images are in there as well. And then it builds the pipeline. And so we, this is the map value to key it loads the raw images and then it copies the raw image bytes column into a features column. And then it runs the image classification trainer and there's the map key to value on the predicted label. And then we have the consume model here. And so let's actually run this where it shows how you can consume that model. Everyone, sorry for the weird cut. For some reason, when I tried to run it in Visual, Visual Studio 2017, it wasn't working. So I had to open it in Visual Studio 2019. And now let's run it. So what it's going to do is that it's going to take a sample image from our data set that we gave it and just cause predict on it just to just to show how kind of how that works. And so it got this image, which is the predicted value is red. And because of the folder it says it's red it is in red and I guess the the score is here so 94% that it was red and 0.06% that it was white all right so that's just kind of a, a quick look at the kind of the newer tasks that you can do in a ml.net CLI for image classification so another easy way to get into machine learning or in this case deep learning with ml.net and the tools that they provide so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching